y'all these prices are way too high you need to cut it <laughs> am i lame you need to cut it the price is too high what's up my v Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. What's up, y'all? What's up, what's up, what's up? Y'all got me some tacos. Tacos, tacos, tacos from a new place called uh, Mr. Burrito, I think it's called. But needless to say, your girl is hungry. I've been getting my hair done, y'all. I got my hair done. This is a, a lace, a lace front. And then I got my nails done. Y'all see the nail? Yes, y'all. I went back to y'all been begging me. I've been y'all been on my on my on me about getting my nails done. What's going on with your nails? Why your nails ain't done? And I want to get my nails done again anyway. Let me put I put my hot sauce, y'all, um, oh, in a bottle. I'm just putting it on here. Oh, this is gonna be sloppy. Cause first of all, these are uh they didn't have hard shell tacos. I'm gonna have to show y'all the tacos. Oh, it's dripping too. I wonder if it's got a hole in it. I don't think so. Anyway, let's say grace. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this food that we're about to receive. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And say amen again for people in the back. Yep, 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 yep. I hope these are good because this is a new place. Man, these tacos, oh, they seem like a cold. Mmm. Mmm. Anyway. I was expecting better. Mmm. They are. Right. You know what? I hate when they put the sour cream on top because the sour cream makes it so cold. I don't never think about that when you want it. Mmm. Hey, okay. I'm like I like hard shell. But you gotta get what you got. Anyway, y'all. I got my hair done by Antoinette, the hairstylist. Y'all know who he is. Some of y'all. The one who used to make my wig. And. This is a body wave. Body wave, y'all. Body wave hair. And. Yeah. I got it done. I'm going to Fantasia again. I don't know if y'all know. Because I think I posted on TikTok. I went to Fantasia, me and Nate, um, together. And then I'm going again with my girlfriends in Columbus. So it's a few of us going. I think it's about four of us just going. And, um... We're going to Fantasia concert, and then we're going to out to eat and all that stuff. <coughs> I'm gonna be out there for the weekend with my best friend. She'll be with me, <coughs> but I'm gonna vault. <coughs> Ooh, got something in that throat. What is this? Strawberry kiwi. Mm. Ooh. Oh, wow. This is good. This is a VA splash. Remember when you going up? <coughs> I always thought VA was the tomato tomato juice. That's all they had, tomato juice. Now they all fancy with the strawberry kiwi and all types of flavors. And it's got like 25% less sugar, baby. Mm -hmm. Very good. Now, y'all, let me tell y'all something. This was shocked me. These hair prices and these nail prices are crazy, okay? Crazy, crazy, crazy. Y'all, my nails, guess how much my nails cost? Yeah, I know they blinged out. I mean, they look prettier in person because I know they have more glistenier, but they blinged out, y'all. She blinged them out. Took her five hours 
two hundred and eighty dollars. Two eighty, y'all. Two hundred eighty dollars. Yeah, I said it. Two hundred eighty dollars. Um, my hair. Guess how much that costs? Four. Was it four forty five? Four hundred and forty five dollars for my hair. To get to get to get a style and everything. Y'all, these prices are way too high. You need to cut it. <laughs> Am I lame? You need to cut it. The price is too high. And I know somebody gonna come and say, "Well, why did you get it done? Why you pay for it? Because I wanted it done." I mean, I'm not. And you know, I could complain about the price, but I ain't saying I ain't got the money to pay for it. I just ain't complaining about the price. You know what I'm saying? The thing about it is, is that I'm like, whoa. I think about these people that are getting their hair and nails done every week, every month. I mean, you know, once, you know, once a week, the hair and nails every week. OMG. Because these things don't, I think she said this will last me for about three weeks. If, if I put a thing around here, around the, uh, the lace front so it won't lift. I'm like, man, geez, Louise. Girl, I bet not sweat. I do know that. But it's going to get cool. It's cool out here in Cincinnati. These tacos are all right. I'm going to eat one more, y'all. And I don't think I'm going to be done. Because it ain't warm. Like I wanted it to be. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah. This ain't it. I don't like that. And I don't like the sogginess. Mm-hmm. All right, mom. Crunch. But yeah, y'all. These prices, I'm like, what in the world? So these women that's out here with these lace fronts and stuff, trust and believe, they paying a sack. When you see the next one done and the nails and stuff blinged out, mm hmm. A fat. It was like that. More like danger. Just think about it. If I pay, um, so I pay almost like eight hundred dollars for everything, right? Eight hundred. Can you pay eight hundred every week? Eight hundred every week. That's like thirty-two hundred dollars a month. That's crazy. Thirty-two hundred dollars a month, y'all. That's a that's a upper body rent or something. Rent mortgage, not even that. That's about his whole expenses for the month. Like these days, I'm like, what is it gonna be like in another five years? Is hair gonna be like uh, a thousand dollars? Or you paying nine hundred, eight hundred? Uh, that's I can't see. Can you see yourself doing that? I don't think I can see myself. That's when I have to put a stop to it. Even if I got the money. Like, what would I pay that much money for a lace front? How much would you be willing to stop to say, I'm not doing it no more? I'm not getting my hair done. My hair's going to go in a ponytail. Or, I'm going to do my hair myself and learn how to do my own hair. Or, learn how to do my own nails. Even the regular nails, y'all, be cost like $80. And then we have to be blinked out. Plain nail. What's going on? What's going on? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Oh. Look at that. I gotta get used to um eating with this uh stuff again. Yes, y'all. So so much stuff. I'm like that. 
is going on. Whew. That is going on, y'all. But anyways, I'm happy to be going out of town. And also, y'all, uh, I got... Uh, I have my house. Yeah, I got to show y'all my house. I'm so... I'm so stoked with the way it turned out. And it's not even done yet. So... I'm liking what that was already done, so I may have to add a little bit of touches, of course, to the bathrooms and stuff. Like I wanted, but for the most part, I'm happy. I can't wait to show y'all. I cannot wait. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, yes. Mm. Y'all, it's so much stuff. I don't know. I don't even know. I don't even know what to say, y'all. It's so much stuff going on in this world. It's just too much. Too much. Too much. You gotta. You really have to stay prayed up, y'all. When I tell y'all, when I look, every time I look at the news, every time I look at social media, it's something that has happened to a family, something, and it be people that just going out, thinking they're gonna return back home and never make it. Y'all heard about that train? That that train that took all those kids, like uh, that family, they was going to a birthday party. Never knew that they were not going to return back home. Going to a birthday party, and I think it was six of them, seven of them. Six of them were dead. Six of them dead, one in critical condition from a train because he, I guess, uh, they hit a train, a train or whatever. I don't know the details. Do I do know that? They get hit by a train. He was him. The guy was driving. A car that escalated. And apparently he went across the train tracks or whatever. The train. He got hit by a train. The whole car. And five of the passengers flew out the car. Their body was ejected from a car. And it was a six-year-old girl. It was a 54-year-old 50, man. A 52 his, his, and his wife, which was 52. And their daughters. Or And then their two daughters. And then it was their daughter. It was the two, the husband and wife. Their six-year-old. Uh, their two daughters. And then their two daughters have friends with them that they invited to the birthday party. Do you? Oh my goodness! And they all, all but one died. All of them died, but one. The one is in critical condition. He got a broken leg, broken arm, um, bleeding to the brain. But they they said that he's going to be survived. But I'm like, okay. I'm hoping that when he do survive, and I pray for him, I pray for him because I said I'm hoping when he do survive that he will have all his functions. You know what I'm saying? To be able to uh, function in life. You know what I'm saying? The correct way. Because I know he's gonna have to go to uh, rehab and all that stuff. Yeah. This stuff right now ain't no joke. Your life is not a joke. You really need to get yourself together. Get yourself right with God. I don't care what nobody say. And I know a lot of people say, I don't believe in God. I don't believe it. Will you do you? I'm going to do me or whatever. Whoever, each his own. Ain't no time to be playing. Because it is not good out here. At all. Not even good. Not even a little bit. And it's so sad. 
Yo, nah, this is messy. It's so sad, y'all. People just living their life like they have. It's, it's a tomorrow. Like, they promise, promise tomorrow. You know what I'm saying? You ain't promised me tomorrow, honey. Let me tell you something. Every single day, I strive to be a better person. And this is my own walk, my own journey with, with Christ. Every day, I wake up, I read, I read my word, I pray to God, I talk to him and let him know. You know, just the things that I'm dealing with, the things that I need work on. Because, you know, we all know we're not perfect, but I am striving every day to be a better person. And I'm, you know what I'm saying, better and better in my life. It's just a spiritual journey for me. And, you know, reading different, uh, different self, self, uh, help books and different things. And, um, me and my girlfriends, I have us all on a plan. We've been reading the Bible, trying to read the Bible from, from the, the beginning to the end. And so we are on a year, it's in, it's reading the Bible from the beginning to the end for three years. It takes us three years to do it. And we have been reading it for, we on our second year. Yeah, we on our second year. So we'll be done probably about the middle of next year with the whole bible we almost finished with the old testament we're in the old testament we are in um uh chronicles no not chronicles uh we are in we just left second kings second kings and then we're in psalms so they they i, I can't tell you how it goes but it, it we almost at we is we are in way deep into the old testament But it's good stuff. Cause we and my we and my girlfriends will be talking about the different things that we read and discussing it, just breaking it down and stuff like that. I'm telling y'all, this is not the time to be playing games. Just get yourself right with God. Live your life the best way that you can without any, you know what I'm saying? You just want to be able to be do good, do right by people. Ask God to forgive you for all your sins. Everything that you have done, he's there to forgive you. I'm telling you, he's there to forgive you. We're not perfect. We're going to mess up. But however, we can just say, Lord, I, I didn't mean to do that. The Holy Spirit will check you too on some things that you do wrong. He'll check you. He'll deal with you in His own in your own private time. In your own private time. But we all need prayer, y'all. We all need prayer. Because people are going through, especially in these days. The struggles of people like, and there's little things that I would tell my husband, me and my husband talk about it, that the little things that we complain about, we complain about so little compared to what other people are really going to, going through. You know, you got people dealing with all types of stuff, like, you know, dealing with kids that are on drugs or dealing with family members that are on drugs. I see it all the time. And it's so heartbreaking. Heartbreaking, y'all. I have to think about that stuff, y'all, because I'm like, it bothers me because I be seeing all types of stuff. I've been watching that stuff that I told y'all, just the DUIs, DWIs, or whatever, OVIs, and um, people that's on drugs, the amount of people that drive that are under the influence, and you have their relatives come and try to, they get called their relatives come and they be like wow we don't know what to do we've been trying to get this person help they won't get help this is happening that and they just like wow and you know you see the stress in this family face and y'all when i watch stuff like that i literally i know i watch stuff like that to pray for those people i pray for those people honestly i just all honestly i pray for those people because i feel so bad even my husband, my, my my husband and my son think I'm crazy because I watch stuff like that and I pray for those families. Just to watch stuff like that. They say, why would you want to watch that? Just to pray for the families. And then also, when you see, um, I see funerals and I pray for those families' strength and everything. I don't know why I do that stuff, but I don't know. There's a lot of people are going through, y'all. They're going through And I be feeling bad for people. Mm -mm. 
And I'm into the point, y'all. I promise you, I kid you not. I have gotten to the point where when I leave my house and I thank God from point A to point B, thank you, Jesus, for allowing me to get here on safe and sound with no hurt, harm, and danger for covering the road with your son's precious blood, covering, your road, covering the road with your blood. Not only that, not allowing me to see an accident. I don't even want to come in proximity of an accident. Cover all the cars around me. I don't even want to come close to an accident. And he always look, looks out for me, but I always thank him. I have to thank him now for point A to point B because right now we are living those And I'm not living in fear. I wouldn't dare tell anybody to live in fear. It's not for you to live in fear, but it's just for you to be cautious of the times that we're living in and to get yourself right. You know what I'm saying? With this life. And I don't care who don't want to listen to me. To each his own, y'all. But trust me when I say, it's better to get it right now. Get yourself right, okay? Get yourself right. Because this time, it's time, y'all. It's time. I hate to be a, a, a deadbeat downer. But the times we are living in right now, I just don't know. I'm just like, oh, so I'm so just like, man, what else happened? <coughs> what something else happened that, that's recently that was big? I think it was a warehouse with dead bodies at a workplace. I don't even know. Oh, I got to use, use these nails again, y'all. I have to start. Because, you know, when I have these nails, I have to really brush them, <coughs> clean under them, <coughs> because there's a lot of germs and stuff and get under them. So, you got to clean them constantly. Because so I got to get my brush thing out. My uh, nail brush. Back out. Because I put it away. Now, I'll unpack it. Yeah, but I'm going to get them done. I'm going to get my nails done um, more often. Not so much the wigs, y'all, because of my sister locks. I do not want to do any damage to my sister, uh, sister locks. And I want to give my sister locks time to breathe, the air to breathe, and <clears throat> so they can be able to grow, fill out the way they're supposed to fill out, and different things like that. But yeah, y'all. So I hope y'all like my new look. I know y'all like the other look, too. I like both ways you know I, I will switch it up from time to time and also i will wear i'm going to wear braids as well y'all probably see me in some braids here and there and my lactician <coughs> told me y'all i'm i am over here choking i might hear my hair my thing go up never mind i'm gonna start my car but my tisha told me, she was like, yeah, give your hair some, you know, wear different styles. Do this because, you know, her clients switch it up here and there, her um, clients that she has. So I said, you know what, I'm going to switch up here and there, but I'm not going to. But she said only if I'm doing this type of styles, only keeping it in for three, week, three weeks max. And I think she told me for a uh, brace, I could do um, five weeks. That's it. Five weeks and take them out because it could be bad. On, it can be kind of um heavy on the hair too much on the hair if i keep it in longer so i said okay 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 so we'll see do i really want to sit in the chair that long to be able to get that braid them braids done i don't know oh what i should i just buy me a uh <coughs> a braided wig just for here and there when i want to put it on i want to get those um bohemian braids bohemian braids or whatever they call i thought about getting those but i just don't want to know if i want to sit that long and I'm sure they probably, if they, I'm sure they probably pricey. And if they pricey, when I when I pay pricey for pricey stuff like that, I'm gonna keep them bad boys in for like a dang near two months. But with these sister locks, I can't. So I may just get me a wig made out of that one, and just get me some nails that can be a, a five week worthy of a price. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all get what I'm saying, right? Anyways, I'm going to let y'all go. But, yeah, thank y'all for tuning in once again. Oh, I got to wash. See, this is why I like these nails. You got to take time with them, y'all, because it's stuff right here. It's just that one piece. 
Actually, I'm gonna go in that, that restaurant and wash my hands right now. See, that's what it happens. You have to keep these clean. I'm gonna go wash my hands. Cause it's nothing like you having something under your nails all the time, you know? So I'd rather wash it up. Anyway, y'all, I see y'all. I thank y'all, I love y'all. Y'all stay prayed up, please. Please, and I pray for my subscribers, y'all. I pray for y'all safety. Um, I pray for y'all safety, y'all. Um, that's all I can do. I pray that you guys be good. Begin to, you know, the, the ones that don't know that you guys will know Christ, grow to know Him. I pray that you guys will, you know, just do better. <laughs> if you're not already doing better do better in life y'all we gotta do better you know let's just strive every day to be the best we can be oh i like that truck mm. the best that we need to be in christ you know i'm trying to wipe my stuff down y'all anyways i'm gonna let y'all go but thank y'all for tuning in i'm gonna probably show footage of me with my girlfriends out in columbus probably not too much y'all because y'all know i'll be on tiktok now and i'll be i'll be on youtube too i ain't neglected y'all i love y'all too so i ain't gonna never it's gonna be too tiktok into youtube we married we married so at any rate y'all so um yeah i'll see y'all in the next video keep god first in everything you do and always remember to stay prayed up pray for family members pray for your loved ones pray for anyone your co-workers keep them on in your prayer okay and remember to always give thanks to god okay love y'all peace out peace love and agree i want board eggs i want shrimp i'm a bougie chick i hold my bank